FMCSA's publication last week effectively does four things. First, they propose that fleets should have to install and use electronic logging devices to monitor hours of service compliance. They also put forth certain design and performance specifications for the devices themselves. Uh, they established a number of protections to help ensure that employers couldn't use the devices to harass drivers, that is to say, to pressure them to violate the hours of service rules. Uh, and finally, what they did was uh, try to put some parameters or boundaries around the number of supporting documents that fleets should have to maintain in order to verify the records from these devices. FMCSA has proposed that everybody who currently has to complete a paper log would have to adopt and use electronic logging devices, or in other words, uh, short haul drivers, those who use one of the log exemptions, so there's two of them, uh, would not have to adopt and use the devices unless they fail to meet the conditions of those exemptions more than episodically. So for instance, if they fail to meet the conditions of their short haul exemption for more than eight days in any 30 calendar day period, uh, they would then have to use an electronic logging device. Well, the agency had to meet a statutory requirement to ensure that the devices wouldn't be used to harass drivers. And by harass, we mean that uh, an employer might use the information from the device to pressure the drivers to violate the hours of service regulations. So to address that, they uh, propose a number of specific protections, including a requirement that the devices should have to be able to be muted when the driver's in the sleeper berth, uh, limits on the uh, precision of location monitoring, to afford the driver some privacy, uh, but moreover, they made it specifically a violation for an employer to use information from the device to pressure a driver to violate the regulations. Under the current requirements, fleets have to maintain any document generated in the ordinary course of business which is or could be used to verify a log entry. That's very broad and vague, of course. Uh, so what they propose to do here is put boundaries around the number and types of records that fleets should have to keep. Specifically, they propose uh, five broad categories, and within those categories, fleets would have to use or uh, retain 10 documents per driver for every 24-hour period. FMCSA has proposed a grandfather provision which would allow fleets who already use the devices to continue to use them until two years after the deadline for other fleets to adopt the devices, uh, that is if they have existing equipment in use today. Um, this is important because fleets have made an investment in these devices and that's not to suggest that on that date, two years after the deadline, that those devices become immediately obsolete. FMCSA uh, believes that a great many of them could be brought up to spec with the new requirements with something as simple as a software upgrade. Uh, we're going to be verifying that claim because it's very important that we don't penalize fleets who are early adopters and already using the devices. Right, it's very important to recognize that this is a proposed rule at this stage. FMCSA yet has to publish a final rule. The soonest we'll see that is a year from now. The effective date of that final rule would be no sooner than two years thereafter. And so really we're talking about an effective date for people to have to adopt and install the devices of at least three years from now.